Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a glacier. I take two fingers over here on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line out and then a wavy wavy line down and leave it floating. Come back to the top we're going to draw a slightly wavy line diagonal up, wavy line over, another wavy line down and leave that floating. Come back to the top and we're going to draw another diagonal slightly wavy line down and leave that floating. Come back to the top and right about here we're just going to draw a slightly curved line, wavy line down and again leave it floating. Now I take two fingers and I put a dot going towards the right. Now we're going to draw a wavy line down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, draw a slightly curved line down, slightly curved line up, slightly wavy line down, and leave that floating. Come back to the top. We're going to draw a slightly curved line up, down, and leave that floating right about here. We're going to come back up with a wavy line up, wavy line up, straight line over, curve line, well straight line down, up and connect. Come back down here, draw me another wavy line, leave it floating, come back to the top, Right about here we're just going to draw another slightly wavy line off the page. Now come back inside this center space. We're going to draw a slightly wavy line across, connect, and now come right about here up on the top and we're just going to grow wa go wavy, wavy line, and connect. Okay, now you come down to the bottom. And we're just going to draw a wavy line, connect, up, connect, up, and stop. Jump over, come on the right side, wavy line up, up, keep going, up, connect, and off the page. Right here in the center, we're going to draw a wavy line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come over here on the left hand side, we're going to draw a wavy line, wavy line, curve line, up, connect, and right over here on the right we're going to draw another wavy line, curve line, wavy line, up, connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, now a glacier is mostly ice and snow. And uh, in order to convey that, I want you to just take your blue crayon and trace over every black line. Now, I always draw in black because I want to make sure everybody can see my lines. Those of you that want to, when we start the drawing part at the very beginning of the video, you might just want to use a blue crayon. Like I said, I always use black because I want to make sure everybody can see what I'm doing. But if you wanted to, because we're mainly drawing this glacier and it's basically white, you're using your blue as kind of a reflection off of the ocean water that it's next to and the sky. So go ahead and if you see a black line you're going to go ahead and trace over it with the blue. And I'm using just a regular dark blue. Down here, these are ice flows. These are parts that have broken off. And again, I'm just going to go over those 
with my darker blue okay all right next you want to show some definition so all you do is just draw little straight lines a couple at the top a couple at the bottom like right here where the crevice is just so that you can get a little bit more definition with your glacier this is the background glacier so go ahead and just put some very light crayon blue lines just to give your glacier a little bit more definition same thing down here on my ice flows I'm not going to color anything in solid just a little bit of color then I come up and lightly I'm putting little straight lines in the background with my blue all the way across okay now on the right hand side I'm just gonna draw a dark blue line through my water then the next color that I'm going to be using is my blue green and this you can kinda have fun with because again you're not gonna color it in you're just going to draw lines to represent the icy cold water. So you're filling it in with different lines and it doesn't matter how it looks because you're just adding that extra element of color for a landform that's difficult to color because it is white. Okay? Then, once I've done that, I take that blue-green and I add a light stripe in my sky. Okay, that's all, just two colors. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my glacier all colored in. And, um, that's it. Okay, bye-bye.